Hey, so I want to talk to those of you who are thinking about signing to a record label, uh, because I think a lot of people don't necessarily understand what makes signing to a record label so valuable in 2018. And obviously, bigger labels, they can go out and they can give you a certain, um, you know, they can give you more resources, they can get your name in front of big people. But really what we're about is the brand recognition. You want people to be able to see, oh, we're signed to this label and that means we're sick. Because the best labels in the underground these days are the ones who curate to super fans. You realize there are people who buy everything they do because they know everything they do is good. And if everything they do is good, clearly they're doing something right. Right? It's not complicated or highfalutin or whatever. It's just straight up, this label has a strong brand. We want to be affiliated with that brand. If we're affiliated with that brand, things go better. You know? It's not a fancy mathematical thing. It's just... Sometimes brand affiliation is good. That's a great goal, I think, especially for smaller bands, if they're trying to get their name out there, if they're trying to kind of broadcast who they are. Because, again, you always grow your band by starting with the core base of whatever type of music you're doing first, and then you can expand. So if you can find a label who cater to the core base, you know, like if you're a black metal band, you signed to Demi Morty, then it's a lot easier to graduate to a Prophecy or a Season of Mist or whatever, or even a Nuclear Blast, because you're going from the core base outward, and you're already tying into the brand. That's why Ghost, who are probably the biggest rock band to have formed in the last 10 years, they started out on fucking Fenris from Dark Thrones radio show, and then grew from there. And people don't seem to get that, right? Is that Ghost didn't start out as this big, powerful rock band. They started out, you know, and they realized they just went from Tastemaker label, slightly bigger label, to, you know, a major label. And that's, I think, something very important to realize as you are trying to grow, right, is when you do your plan, don't think, oh, okay, well, we've done five shows, we should try to sign to a big label in our genre. No, try to sign to a small tastemaker label because that's where people care, and that's where you're going to find the brand that matters where everywhere they're going to buy everything they put out because, they're, because people are looking for new music. And if people are looking for new music, they're going to trust brands they know because there's so much new music it doesn't make sense to just go on Bandcamp and try to find it yourself. If you've got some label run by, because labels are run by music nerds, and those music nerds know what's good. And if they find something that's good, it's only going to grow. And that's just a straightforward, easy way to expand your brand and showcase who you are. It's not highfalutin or fancy or whatever. It's just, look, here's a label that understands what we're about. And if they understand what you're about, they're going to sell you to people who understand what you're about. And those people are going to tell their friends, and it'll go from there. So don't look at a label. Don't think that the label's going to make all your dreams come true right away. They're just going to be another step in growing the name so that you can get more what you want. Smaller labels don't really have full-time staff. Even the dudes who own them usually have jobs. The best ones, actually, the dudes do have jobs because it means they're not constantly trying to profit off of every aspect of the band, and that's important. You know, so think about that. When you use that, that will grow you a lot further if you kind of have the patience that you practice behind that. Because once you start to practice patience, once you start to realize where the label can actually take you and what it'll actually do for you, it's not always about A&R. It's just about we're signed to a cool label who have a good reputation and it's helping us grow. Take care.